Everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Yesterday, Ubiquity came out with this article for UID lessons, and this is for the free version of UID, which includes one-click Wi-Fi, one-click VPN, our door access, and EV stations. We're not going to be looking at the EV stations as I don't have one, but I'm going to show you how to set this up both on your phone for the door access and on your computer so you could use one-click Wi-Fi and one-click VPN. If you'd like to support my channel, I do now have Ubiquity affiliate links and they'll be in the description below. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my website at mactelecomnetworks.com. And if you want to become more involved with the community, I do have a Discord server and that is also linked down below. Now to start off, to be able to use the Unify Identity Windows client, your Unify OS needs to be on 3.2.9, which is currently in release candidate as of this video. So if you do want to use the Windows client, you need to switch the release channel. Now Ubiquity has made this free identity service extremely easy to use. All we have to do is go up to admins and users. Now under users to add somebody new, all we need to do is hit this plus icon and we could add the user or import users from a CSV file. I'm going to click on add user. The name I'm going to call it YouTube and the last name I'll call test and then we'll give it an email of mactelecomnetworkstest at gmail.com. If you want, you could put an employee ID number in. I'll just give them employee ID of 100 and then we could select an onboard date, which we'll do it today, which is January 10th, 2024. Now I'm not gonna give them any card permissions, any code or any one-click Wi-Fi or VPN. We will do that afterwards as well as put the door access policy. We're just gonna add this user as of right now. Now the user has been imported into our user database. We could click on the YouTube test and we could click to assign under the permissions. I am gonna give this a door access policy. So we'll click on the policy. And the only policy I have set up right now in Unify Access is to access all my doors. I only do have one door, but if you wanna limit them to where they could go, you could create different policies. So we'll click on all doors and then we'll press add. Now to give them permissions to use the one-click Wi-Fi and the one-click VPN, we just come into the user, click on settings, and then go to network. We could see one-click Wi-Fi and the VPN. If I click on this, it's gonna say once enabled, one-click Wi-Fi will seamlessly integrate into Unify Network. And you can manage the Wi-Fi configuration in Unify Network at any time. I'll go into my network controller and show you that this hasn't been added yet. Under my Wi-Fi networks currently, we could only see Mac Telecom cameras, Dolores, and the Queen's House. So let's go back to the users and add that one-click Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna check off one-click Wi-Fi and then we're gonna press enable. After we do this, a new wireless network should have been created that is called UID. Now back under our Wi-Fi networks, they actually do call it Unify Identity. And if we click on this Wi-Fi network, we could do whatever we like to it, do private pre-share keys or any configuration. I'm just gonna leave it as is. But now let's go look under our VPN settings. I currently don't have any VPN server set up. As you can tell right here when we click on it, it's telling us to add a VPN server so nothing is configured there yet. But if we go back to our Unify OS and then we scroll down on the user and go to one-click VPN and then we press enable, this is automatically gonna create our VPN for us using WireGuard. Now going back to the VPN server, we could now see that there is a WireGuard VPN set up for that one-click VPN. Now all the configuration is done, but how do we get the user to actually use this service? Well, we're gonna click on their name and then we're gonna see this identity invitation. All we need to do is press send. Once this is sent, it's gonna send out to the email address. Now under my test email, we could see we have one from Unify Identity and it says, welcome to Mac Telecom SE. Hi YouTube test, you have been invited by your admin to access Unify Identity's powerful features using the Unify Identity mobile app. We could see it's available for iOS, Android, Mac OS, and Windows. The first one we'll start off with is our Windows client. So I'm gonna click on the Windows client and that's gonna download it for me. So once it's done, I'm gonna open it up. Now we need to install Identity to our desktop. So our installation is now complete. We're gonna launch Identity now. So this is the Unify Identity app and now we need to click Get Started. Now it says get your credentials. So step one, open the invitation. Step two, click load my credentials. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna load the credentials. We could see two different things here. We could say get your credentials for the desktop app and then for mobile, we could see our QR code. So I'm gonna load my credentials for the Windows app. Now you can see down in the bottom right hand corner that I've been authorized to be able to use the one click Wi-Fi and the one click VPN. I'm not gonna test out the Wi-Fi, but we will test out the VPN as I have a second ISP connection 
going into a Unify Express. Now I've connected my computer to that Unify Express. And if we try to ping my Synology NAS that is on my other network that has identity running on it, we won't be able to. So ping 192.168.10.220 and you could see that is starting to time out. To get this to work, all we need to do is go down to our Unify identity and click on the VPN. We could see the status of the VPN. It's connected for the last 13 seconds. I'll just hit the up arrow, and then we're able to hit my Synology NAS at 192.168.10.220. Now we could do an open speed test that's running on my Synology NAS to test the WireGuard VPN. I was finding that I was getting about 50 down and about 700 up, but let's do a test again. So like I said, I was getting 54.2 down and I was getting 931 up, which is almost wire speed. So this VPN is very easy to connect to. Now let's go ahead and test Unify Access. I've already downloaded Unify Identity on my iPhone and it says, welcome to Identity, let's get started. Now there's two different options on my phone. It says from this phone, which I could go into the email or from the computer. I'm gonna click on from computer because we're gonna be able to scan the QR code. Now I'm gonna scan the QR. Now it says Identity would like to find and connect to devices on your network. I'm just gonna say allow. All right, and now we could see everything that we're authorized to use. So we could use the doors, the Wi-Fi, and the VPN from my phone. If I wanna unlock the door, all I need to do is click on the doors and it's gonna unlock. So it did unlock that one door right behind me. Now, if we wanted to connect to the Wi-Fi, all we need to do is press on the Wi-Fi. And now we could see that my phone is connected to that new SSID. Now going back under admins and users on my UDM SE, we could see identity and there's a few settings that we could change. So we have a site logo if we wanna customize our own, we have the site name, we have the different services that we could have on or off. So the one-click Wi-Fi, VPN, door access, and then the EV station, which requires Unify Connect. You could also change your Wi-Fi SSID name as well as the VPN name, and we could do this user security. So if we check on the user security, it requires a verification code when loading credentials. Now that's gonna be it for this video on the free Unify Identity Service. And this is a great new service that they have given to us. A couple of things I would like to be brought to this would be the mobile tap for our Unify Access. Although you could just go into Unify Identity and click on the doors, I'd rather just put my phone up to it like an NFC card. Another thing that I would like, but this is probably a part of their paid service and will stay that way, is Protect Camera Sharing. Protect Camera Sharing in the Enterprise UID has worked very well when I've been using it with clients. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.